So guys, Anthony here with Empire Music and EmpireMusic.com. Lot to go over today, but I'm super excited to show you brand new bass out of the Fender lineup. This is the Player Plus. Um, what's that mean? So um, if you think about the American series stuff, you have the American Professional 2s and the American Ultras. And then in the Mexican series stuff, you have the Player Series. That is sort of like a standard style bass, kind of like the American Professional 2s. Um, now this is sort of the Mexican counterpart to the American Ultras. So we share a lot of things. There's a few uh, places that they um, kept the cost back a little bit. Obviously it is a made in Mexico product. Um, and it's, um, it's kind of a stripped back version of the Ultra. And I'll sort of show you what we mean spec wise. This one's in the cosmic jade finish, which is absolutely beautiful. Kind of reminds me of like a, a, a candy apple green almost. Got a little bit of sparkle flake in there. Beautiful, beautiful base. Mint guard on it. I think that's a real nice contrast to the mint green with the, with the, 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 the green finish here. So I stutter over my own words there. Um, it's also available in silver smoke three-tone sunburst or three-color sunburst and Olympic pearl, um, which will sort of be like Olympic white with like sort of the pearl finish in there. Feature-wise, a little bit basic, but it has definitely some high performance stuff going on to it under the hood electronic-wise. High mass bridge, awesome. Alder body. Noiseless pickups, so player plus noiseless pickups. Uh, what's that mean? That means these are really, uh, considering that they're noiseless pickups, obviously a P pickup is sort of always noiseless because it's a split coil, but you have a single coil here, so it's basically got another coil underneath there. They're hum canceling at that point. That adds a little bit of extra top end, a little bit of extra presence to it, but you can always control that with an EQ section in it. Electronic wise, uh, volume, panning, so you have front pickup, bridge pickup here, active passive toggle, treble or treble on top here bass stacked mid-range on the back no passive tone control so keep that in mind uh, 20 medium jumbo frets modern c neck satin finish open gear tuners synthetic nut here pretty straightforward stuff 18 volts on the back you don't have the contour neck kill it's the one thing i wish they would have brought in from the altar they just don't have though um so but Great bass, super, super high performing. Very impressed with it right out of the box. Did a very minor setup on it. There's a ton of tones on this thing, so let's get into that. Um, I'm gonna keep it in passive mode right now. When I was playing in the intro was um, just the P pickup. We're gonna go both wide open. So P pickup and the J pickup. Volume helps. Now, we're gonna go just the just front pickup again. So we'll pull out right into that P bass character. My favorite tone out of the bass, obviously. Just go J pickup. And what I did notice just in demo and like warming up, a little less output on this bridge pickup here. That's not uncommon with the PJ setup. Um, but with the active, the active, when we engage active mode, that's really gonna help bring presence out to that bridge pickup there. Mm -hmm. notice as soon as I go to active mode there's a lot more gain coming out of it so we'll go um, just front pick because this is a P bass so the most important tone is going to be this front pickup here so just front pickup we're going to go check it out passive as soon as I flip into active and everyone make sure everything's even here so we're right at the detent position meaning um, we're just engaging the active circuitry. We're not cutting or we're not boosting any of the frequencies. Check it out. Again, passive. 
as soon as I flip to active. Sounds really good. That's not overly active sounding, probably because we're not cutting or boosting anything, but it just adds a little bit of extra gain to it. That's great if we want to hit pedals with something a little bit heavier. You have an overdrive pedal or an octave pedal that's really going to react better to getting a little bit hotter of a signal in there. So a really cool option there. So again, P pickup here. Boost a little bit of mid range, a little bit of top end. Now we'll go both pickups wide open. I know that's going to get a little bit brighter when we start engaging this pickup, so I'm going to go back to the detent position. So we're right in the middle, active electronic wise. And again, we'll go passive. to active. So again, a little bit more gain comes out of it. Give it a couple playing examples. Now, again, because I've spent a little bit of time with this bass before the video, I'm gonna go, to, when I go to this bridge pickup, I'm gonna boost a little bit. So I'm gonna boost a little low end, I'm gonna leave trouble where it's at. I'm gonna actually boost a little bit of mid range on that too. Give you a comparison here. So again, kind of weak, a little bit lower output when we're in passive mode, but you'll hear how that kind of fixes itself by going to active mode, which is, we often get in this debate, and I was just commenting on a, on a previous YouTube video, um, Active basses are cool, and I know I'm a purist and I love the traditional stuff, but like an active bass, because of something like this, is, this is a perfect example why active basses can benefit you too. So, passive. Now check it out. Active. So again, really great example on why active basses can be awesome for you. This is the brand new Fender Player Plus. Uh, this is a Mexican series product. Again, kind of a stripped back, a stripped back version, excuse me, of the American uh, American Ultra series. If you need anything, these are brand new. We have them in stock right now. Call me at the shop, 412-343-5299. You can email me directly. It's anthony at empiremusic.com. We'll catch you next time. Thanks.